Well, to discuss how councillors are going to cope with less money, James Alexander is the leader of uh, York Council, the Labour group which runs that, and uh, Stephen Baines, the leader of the Conservatives on Calderdale Council, which is run by Labour and the Lib Dems. Gentlemen, thank you for coming in. James, if I can start with you first. Sure. Uh, thousands of jobs lost already, hundreds of millions of pounds cut off local authority budgets, already more than 300 jobs cut in York since 2010. What services can you realistically cut now with these latest cuts? Well, it's going to be a struggle. We have worked our hardest to make sure that we don't have to shut any libraries, any swimming pools, and be able to keep services going. But clearly, there's an inevitable consequence of having to make £70 million worth of cuts out of an annual budget of £128 million over that period of this parliament. And it is, just shows the failure of the economic policy of the government because they said that the deficit would be down by 2015, and it's not, and we've got more cuts. Stephen, you may take a different view to that. Is it possible to make more cuts on top of fair chunks of budget which have already been lost? Yes, but you know, let, let's look at why we have to make these reductions. You know, the, the, the last Labour government left us the highest deficit since the, first, since the Second World War. You know, that's why we have to make these uh, reductions to balance the books. How will you make or how will those we, reductions be made, though? Yeah, I think we can make them by jo more joint services with other councils, joining services to reduce costs of administration and management and better procurement between councils rather than uh, closed libraries and uh, leisure centres, etc. And this, this can be done. There's three London borough councils joining services, and by uh, 2015, they are looking to save uh, 40 million pounds per annum. That is a big saving. It doesn't work alone. I mean, you know, in York, we have reduced our administration costs from £17 million to £13 million. A third of our back office staff are gone. 40% of management is down. We've moved into new council offices to save £17 million over 25 years. We counselled a second new council office project. We are doing the efficiency savings. We are doing the shared services. When you're making £17 million worth of cuts, half our annual operational budget over the period of this parliament that is not possible to do an administration alone even if we got rid of the entire administration costs. Okay let's turn to this issue the government's putting in this growth fund for to freeze council tax now both councils both authorities have put council tax up in recent years will you be bidding for that money to reduce council tax in York for instance? Well you're a council taxpayer in York and 60 percent of uh, your, what we have to spend comes from your council tax. 40% comes from the government, and that's what's being cut. So the difficulty is, if we haven't got enough money to pay for services like care services, then we've had to take tough choices to increase council tax by 54 pence a week. Stephen, can they ca freeze council tax in Calderdale? Um, I believe they can do, but by, as I keep stressing, by joint services, etc. And in 2009, the Conservative leaders at the time in West Yorkshire, the majority of them, uh, uh, commissioned a review from KMPG, and they actually confirmed that there would be substantial savings uh, to the, all the authorities if they could work together. But I think, um, unfortunately, you know, I, I tend to feel that the only thing that the, uh, the five Labour leaders in West Yorkshire can agree on is that they have to join services and share services, but they can't decide on where. That's very briefly, very case. briefly, gentlemen, 10 seconds, will jobs be lost? Can you, can you reassure very worried town hall workers tonight about the, their futures? I want to be able to deliver hope for people in Yorkshire. I want jobs be being lost? Help. There will be some jobs lost, but when we've got a chancellor who's the doctor of the beaching of uh, local services, you know, there are some tough choices to be had, but we're doing all we can to protect those services. Stephen, 10 seconds. Yeah, local authority uh, jobs will be lost, um, without doubt, to, to make the savings with £8 million to find in Calderdale. But you've got to look at the private sector. For every single um, job lost in the uh, pro uh, public sector, there's been three created in the private sector. Okay, General, we'll have to leave you there. Many thanks for coming in. Thank you.